Good afternoon and welcome to the Mark Bacconi Culinary Studio. Today we're going to be making a classic Tuscan dish known as Papa al Pomodoro, a classic Tuscan bread tomato soup. Here we're featuring an abundance of great ingredients including the marinelli, tomato basil sauce, some wonderful stale bread, leeks, basil, garlic, some vegetable stock, and of course, some wonderful extra virgin olive oil. To make Papa Pomodoro, we're going to start with some extra virgin olive oil, approximately a third of a cup, in over medium high heat. We're going to add our garlic and just toast it ever so slightly so it's brown. Move it around gently. I'm going to put a little bit of color on it, not a lot. And then we're going to add our leeks. Leeks have to be thoroughly washed because they tend to be very sandy. Stir them around well. And then cover it with a lid for about 10 minutes until they're soft. So after about 10 minutes, the leeks should be nicely softened and ever so gently caramelized. At this stage, we will add our tomato sauce. So our tomato basil sauce, marinelli's. Our vegetable stock, approximately three cups. Give that a gentle stir, bring it back to a boil, and we'll be able to proceed with the recipe. So at this time, we're going to turn the temperature off. See, we have the soup basically brought back to a boil. The leeks and the garlic have nicely softened. It's wonderfully aromatic. We're going to add our dry, stale bread. Cover this back up and come back once this bread has been absorbed. We have to make sure the bread is well submerged to absorb all the wonderful juices of the tomatoes, tomato sauce, the broth. And look forward to enjoying this wonderful soup. Required for the Papa Pomodoro will be finely sliced basil leaves. So we've washed the basil leaves, stacked them, and we will slice them relatively thin. This cut is also known as chiffonade. So the bread has wonderfully absorbed the broth of the soup. We're going to season with salt, freshly ground pepper, We're then going to take our whisk and break up this bread so that you now have a wonderful consistency of soup. Of course, this could be done with a spoon. The idea of a whisk is you have these wonderful little wires here that gently break up your product. You can see this takes on very much a light, mousse-like consistency. Obviously when we finish with fresh basil, olive oil, you have a wonderful, wonderful soup. At this stage we're going to add our basil, so just a little extra virgin olive oil to finish the soup off. And for our plating, our Papa al Pomodoro. This is made into a tepid bowl. Furnished with extra virgin olive oil. 